Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is the winner of season 10 Food Network, the great food truck race. Ooh, that's amazing. And today he's here to show us how he's gonna show, how he's gonna make an amazing crawfish recipe. Please welcome to the show, Def Chef. Daryl Johnson of NOLA Creations. I told y'all I was moving slow today. I'm sorry, I just gotta keep it real. But listen, thank you so much thank for joining you, thank us. You. I appreciate that and you being here. And this looks amazing already and we haven't even started cooking. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about how was your experience on the Food Network? It was amazing. Actually, it was my second show on Food Network. Oh, really? I did Cut Your Kitchen in 2015 and I came back this time and I finished second Cut Your Kitchen. So this time, I got the win. You yeah. Know? So it was a great experience. Um, the most trucks ever, the longest race ever. Yeah. Um, and we did a great job and everybody on the show did a great job. It was amazing. Yeah. Would you do it again? Absolutely. In a heartbeat. I'll do it right now. You got a truck outside? Well, um, I brought you, brought you a truck. My truck is here. We can get on it. All right. Let's do it. But first of all, let's get into this recipe. Let's talk a little bit about the ingredients. What do we have here? I see crawfish. All right. So we're gonna do a crawfish day two fay. Day two fay is I French. Love that. <laughs> it's French for smothered. So we're basically gonna make a, a crawfish gravy. Okay. And we're gonna put it with some rice. So this is our thing. So we're gonna start with some oil. Now this oil is infused with some herbs, some mm -hmm. basil. Just not regular cooking oil. Okay. You know, so we take our time with some garlic. So that's the first part in there. Okay. And we're gonna get it in there. Let it nice and sizzle. All right. We once go. we get that, we're gonna add the holy trinity. Okay. Peppers, onions, and celery. All right. I'll help you with that. All right. If you pull, I'll shake. All, All right. right. We'll shake and bake. Yeah. Okay. So this is called a Cajun mirror pie in the uh, peppers also. Okay. A regular mirror pie is uh, peppers, carrots, and onions. So we're going to do peppers, onions, and celery. It smells good already. All oh my right. God. Now we want to add our scratch made and crazy seasoning, our blackened seasoning right here. Okay, here. We're like going to put it all in there. We from the world, we it. like it spicy. So yep. this is not salty because I hate Cajun seasonings that are sometimes salty, but this right. one's not salty. No, right? so it's very low in sodium. Okay, um, very but good. It still has the same spice. So we're going okay. to do some uh, granulated onion. Okay, sounds good to me. We're going to do some thyme. Okay, there we go with the thyme, mm -hmm. right on thyme. Black pepper, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Little black pepper, shake uh -huh. and bake. You got some basil. Okay, come on with it. Uh huh, oregano. All right, I see it right here. Uh -huh. Do we have some granulated <laughs> garlic? Mm -hmm. I see it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. There we go. A little bit of pink Himalayan salt. Okay, just a little bit. We got everything there in you there. Go. <laughs> we got to grab, grab the kitchen sink too. We'll throw that in there too. Uh -huh. Why not? Why not? <laughs> So we so, want to get this going. So we do have something in common. Both, both you and I have cookbooks. Absolutely. So what can we expect in your cookbook? What so, type of recipes? So my cookbook is basically a taste of the French Quarter in every order. Ooh. You know, so you're going to get the traditional New Orleans so, dishes, our world famous beignets, so. the ones that propel the side victory. You're going to get uh, some amazing recipes like mm -hmm. our etouffee here, yes. our jambalaya. You know, we have a shrimp and grill recipe in there. Hmm. New Orleans style po' boy. I'm oh. going to tell you, fried shrimp, get out of here. French bread, Fried green tomatoes, oh, remoulade sauce, arugula lettuce. Oh, That's so good. There. I'm and telling it's you. it's just very simple. Absolutely. I love New Orleans food. It's so good. Oh my God. So I hear you also have a line of seasonings. Are, are yes. these your seasonings? These are my using? seasonings. Yes, they are. Oh. You know, so um, about in January, I was about 330 pounds. Were you? Yes. And I was, in January in of January this year? In January this year, yes. I was diabetic. I was in a hospital. Um, wow. And doctors said, you got to change everything going on insulin. So yeah. I came up with my own season because I wanted my flavor. Yeah. Less sodium. I mean, it was bad. My sugar was like 900, my blood oh my pressure was 190, over, over like another high number, but I changed my lifestyle and I still kept my great flavor, so I made my own seasoning that's low in sodium and packed with a punch. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about, black <laughs> man. I love it. So you also have a food truck, uh, NOLA Creations, yes. yeah? And I hear they go state to state and you're going to be traveling soon. Tell us a little bit about that. So we are going to be traveling that's, with uh, our truck. Broth? No, this is actually white wine. White wine. That's my secret. Okay. So we're going to be traveling. I just made you tell your secret. I'm yeah. Oh, oh, not my secret. <laughs> you know, so we're going to be traveling, taking our food truck mm -hmm. all over the country. Then we're going to go as high up as Michigan. We're oh, going to wow. go uh, all through Florida. We're going to go back to some of the cities we had on the race as well. Wow. You know, so it's been a lot of great uh, feedback and support from us, for us, you know, from this roof, uh, food truck race. Yeah. So that's going to be really good to go to those places where you actually raced in because they're, mm -hmm. they know you, you know, right. and then that's going to be so welcoming and, and just an amazing experience. What's next for we're going to pin all here? All right. So that's going to be our route. That's going to be a little bit later. So okay. now we're going to add our crawfish sales in there. All right. You know, and we, we, got, we got a lot of crawfish. Oh, yeah. Hey, I like the meat. You we weren't playing with there. the people, were Absolutely. you? Absolutely. We came to eat. At least I know you're not stingy, Daryl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's crawfish day two face, so we got to get the right. crawfish in there. That's right. So I hear you're launching a camp for kids, too? Yeah, so my goal is to give back. Reciprocity mm -hmm. is at the heart of everything I do. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're going to take some kids, at-risk youth, kids in uh, different communities, and bring them to a camp where they're going to stay two weeks overnight, really? teach them how to cook. You know, oh, so wow. we're going to give all the finer points of their execution. We're going to make sure they, they have some fun. There's be some games and water park yeah. stuff, but we're going to cook. And the last, right. the last day, the, the kids will cook for their parents. Oh, 
that is so amazing. That's so sweet. Absolutely. So what's your what what why 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 did you choose kids? Because you know there's a lot of grown people that don't know. <laughs> I mean, I, I love the children too, but right, I'm just right. trying to figure out what was your thought process. Cooking saved my life. I grew up in New Orleans when it was a pretty bad time. It yeah. was the murder capital of the world, yeah. and a lot of my friends were dead or in jail. You know, oh, so cooking God. saved my life and mm-hmm. brought me out of that environment. Yeah. It showed me the world's being in New Orleans. I got to go to Paris, cook overseas. I cooked in London. You know, so I took my time mm-hmm. and got out of that environment. And I want the same for those kids. You know, yeah. give them hope. You don't have to be a rapper or a ball player to make it out. You can be a chef. You can be a chef. Look at you now. Yeah, look at me. You're getting paid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, uh, we are going to be right back because we got to taste this amazing dish. You stay put, and I'm going to finish cooking with my good friend, Daryl Johnson. So hang on and stay right there. Yes, we are dancing and cooking in, in the kitchen with Chef Daryl. And let's go ahead and finish this up and play so I can eat. How about that? Absolutely. Yes. Let's do I love it. Let's do it. Yes. So, All right. So you're going to play my part? part? Yeah. They said I'm doing this part. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it's, it's plating. Okay, well, good. Then yes. I guess I have the questions. Yes. So you have a pop-up shop. We talked about it uh, during the break, but yes. I want you to tell the good people you're having a pop-up shop mm-hmm. in McDonald, Georgia, Thursday. Yes, Thursday we have three sittings, one at 6 p.m., one at 7.30, and one at 9.30. So we're doing a five-course menu, all of our best dishes. I'm telling you, we might throw a six in there, too. Ooh. I might feel a little generous, but Ooh. tickets are available on our website, okay. www.nola-creations.com. You know, all right. So going Miss Quad, the honors early. first, of course. Well, you know, thank God. God. <laughs> thank God for being Miss Quad. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to get into this. And then I want you to tell me those times again. Because yeah, I didn't know you had that many times going on. You can cook in the kitchen all day. Mm. <laughs> Here you go, Tamika. Uh-oh. Mm, there you go. I need, all right, Trina, I got you, back. I need a fork. Oh, oh Lord Jesus. <laughs> I need a fork. There we go. There Is we it go. spicy? Because oh, I can't do spicy. It's, it's a little bit. Got a little bit. Just get, your, get more rice than the brew. Yes. Burp. So you would. Uh, it's really, really good. Baby. <laughs> baby. I'm going to turn it into a new one. <laughs> so it's so good it made me turn into a, a New Orleans yeah, store. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yes. absolutely. Awesome. So absolutely. tell me a little bit more. So you're serving five courses, you said? Yes, have? we're serving five courses. So we're going to start with our Cajun poutine. So that's handcuffed fries, our Creole cheese sauce, our crawfish gravy. You know, that's going to be our first course. You know, then we're going to come back with our shrimp and grits. Lightly sauteed shrimp, mm. creamy grits, tasso cream sauce. Then we're going to have that second course. Then our traditional one of this, yambalaya. You got sauteed mm. chicken, you got sauteed andouille sauce that we make in-house. Mm. You know, then we're going to come back after that mm-hmm. one, and it's very... Wait, <laughs> well, we don't have much time now. No, too uh, All right, so... Well, thank you so much. This is delicious. 6 p.m., 7.30, and 9.30. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Chef Daryl, for joining us today. You can uh, find out about the NOLA Creation events. Products, go to nolacreations.com. Get it up for Daryl, man. Yes! Yeah. Give it up.